Hello and welcome back to another episode of If You Know, You Know. And if you don't know, then... Sorry. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is a truly If You Know, You Know episode. Yeah, I'm correct. so sorry for that. So, yeah. the card Today's that we question, have... What subject do you think I thrived in at school and did I fail any? Okay, we answer for each other. I'm sure you, you did very well in English. Okay. Um... Not sure about Chinese. Maybe maybe the actually don't know eh. Not math lah. <laughs> <laughs> what well, it kinda hurt eh. <laughs> um maybe bio. I think you would have like done well in bio. If you even took bio. <laughs> okay, so funny story is that um I was so bad at bio. My- <laughs> My teacher announced to the whole class that I should drop it. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the science lab when we were getting our results back, then I got the, I think I got the lowest in class. Okay. So that was how bad my bio was. And then she was, after class she was like, oh, I think you should drop bio. Like, how many of y'all agree? And then those around her and those like How many class. of y'all agree? Yeah. And then I was just like, wow, like that really hurts. And then in the end, I really dropped bio lah. <laughs> because I, I, I don't like science. So the subjects I failed at were science mm-hmm. and... Yeah, like art lah. Okay, but like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not drastically bad at art. It's just I got like B's and C's. I didn't fail or anything. I just mm-hmm. didn't get like stellar grades. That's the grades. Like the old level grades were not that bad. No, but at the end of the day, like it didn't really matter mm. anymore. Correct. Didn't really care actually. Like I don't care now. What you remember is more the experience of yeah. being in the school, right? And speaking of which, today's yeah. topic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, we remember one for so long. Okay. Today's topic we're gonna to be talking about our girls' school experiences mm. and the culture shock that we got when we left the like our girls' schools and we went to poly together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but Rain and I didn't know each other in secondary school. We only met in poly. Yeah. Right. But I Rain and I are not from the same girls' school. We are not. <laughs> Do you wanna see what girls school are yeah, from? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm from St. X. I'm from um SCGS. And yes, <laughs> NX <Enix> Pride. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, how was your girls' school experience? Oh, it was great. Um, I mean, definitely a lot of like bitching, a lot of <laughs> arguing, a lot of like petty, petty little things that actually, when you leave the like the experience itself and you look back at it, I can't really remember what the bitching was about, but I remember our severe like bonding experiences from the bitching. I mean, okay, beyond the bitching. <laughs> beyond the bitching, I remember the bonding experiences. Yeah. Yeah. And also, like, speaking of which, I had a very good experience also because of, like, the teachers in school. I don't know whether you had the same experience, but I think girls' school teachers are way more empathetic than, like, normal. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, wrong. I, I, I wouldn't know. We Actually, we, we wouldn't know lah. Why? Okay, that's true. We wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, we are, we were in girls' school but for ten I've years. But I've heard right? from my friends that like they were never <laughs> close with their teachers because the teachers just wanted to do their jobs and get out. But for girls' school or at least like for Senex teachers, they're so empathetic and they're so sweet. Like I'm still close to some of my secondary school teachers actually. Okay, I think that's amazing, but I'm quite different. Eh? Oh, yeah. I mean, maybe I just was never the type to like, go and talk to my teachers after. Mm. Um, but. <clears throat> I feel like, yeah, la, they, they do truly want to help you. Mm. There are some teachers that are fucking scary. Yeah. That's true. Like, that's really, true. really, okay, really like, scary. True, like, when they walk in, right? Yeah, yeah, the whole class just, like, shuts up. I feel like the, the, the point about the teachers, mm. um, it was half-half la, for me. Okay, okay. Mm. Okay, la, of course, we have had teachers that I definitely despise and I don't really like. With all due respect <laughs> Because I mean They all did their jobs In the end And in yeah. the end like, We all passed our O levels right So that's like The job that they were, They were made Like came here to do mm. Which is fair enough la. Like they don't have to Go the extra mile And they don't have to Put in the extra effort To make sure that Our like Well being And like, our mental state Is mm. okay But they did that And that's why like In secondary school We were very close To our teachers Like um, We would take pictures With them Like teacher's day Teacher's day was a big thing In our school And Valentine's day Like we would give Presents to all our friends also, but we will give Valentine's Day presents to our teachers. Yeah, and even like on days like April Fools, they will be super like into it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they don't mind getting pranked. I mean, obviously, like some of them will get a bit frustrated and annoyed, 
But April Fools was like a big thing in our school. You know, girls' school culture is a bit different. Like as much as we are both from girls' schools, right? The culture within the schools are a little bit different. Okay, but I'm sure your Valentine's Day was like a big celebration, right? No. Mm-hmm. We would prep for V Day like weeks. Huh, in seriously? Yeah, we would bake stuff. We would buy like sweets. Okay, no, we would wrap them it. up. We would write notes to each other. Here's the thing, right? I remember seeing that kind of shit on IG story with our mutuals. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't Where's remember. You see, like, we but I don't have her. that. Oh. Like we, maybe okay. Maybe I wasn't within that 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 group who did. But like, do you know of people of who to date in your school? Who made a big event out of Valentine's Day and not Teacher's that Day. big, oh. not like weeks before. Not that I remember, or maybe I'm just blocking it all because I didn't have the best experience. Oh, okay, okay. Like my primary school, okay, ten years, right? Six years was <clears throat> primary school was not great. Mm, same. I spent majority of it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Twinning. <laughs> okay, la, no la, I didn't la. Okay, we're quite different in that sense. Yeah. I had a lot of like. Casual, casual friends in mm. primary school. But mm. I'm sure, okay, if you spent it alone, then I'm sure it wasn't the best experience. It wasn't the best experience, but it was okay. But in secondary school, I think it was very different because I joined the CCA that I was, um, I would say at that time, passionate about. And okay, what do you tell everyone about this? You know, right? <laughs> netball, netball. Yes, I was in I netball. Yes. And uh, the, our team was very bonded mm. I loved it we had a lot of fights la. Mm. but <laughs> it was stupid same, like, like you said the, yeah, the yeah. Petty, petty fights fights small fights yeah okay but we were we were very bonded it was very close mm. I'm 100% sure that at one point everyone thought we were just all dating each other. <laughs> <laughs> we wow, would go around school cute. holding hands. Oh, that's very cute. And like, we would go around but school. But isn't that a common sight in girls' schools? Like, just everyone in general? I think so, but because we, we, we would, we would really stick them close. Oh, that's very and cute though. It, it's very yeah. sweet. And like, we would give each other kisses on the cheek and stuff. So I think. Oh, wow. Okay, that's, <laughs> wow, that's a bit extreme. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think that was that was the best part of my secondary school uh, life. Same, my best part of my secondary school life was also my CTA. What? Because I was from dance. I was from modern dance. So Why did I have the impression you're in choir? Why would I be from <laughs> choir? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, I don't yeah. sing that well. I don't sing. But yeah, I I was from dance and dance was split up into like Chinese dance and modern dance. So mm. I was in modern dance. But even so, like the Chinese dancers and the modern dancers would get along very well with each other. So like, I was quite close to my um, my blue badge like friends because I retained, right? So after blue badge, I got retained into like green badge. But I was pretty close to like my green badge friends as well. What's that? Oh, we have badge colours. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I did oh, not know that. Have, no, we don't have, have that. Oh, so we refer to each badge by the colour of your badge. So there's like red, yellow, green, blue, grey, white. Okay, no, we didn't have that. We I think there's more, but I can't remember. We only have badge jackets that we got to vote. Oh, that's quite cute. Colors. Yeah, um, in dance, we were very, very close. Like, we have to be because it's a team sport. Mm. And whenever we had competitions like SYF or um, performances, like in-school performances, yeah, we would we would be like super, super tight and we would really like practice until we, we want to die kind. Like, during SYF, we would have like intensive training and then that's when we were born with our seniors and our juniors. So I guess like the whole team is very, very close and that was also the best part of my secondary school life because I love staying back with my friends. I love staying back. Like, I used to not like going home. Um, <laughs> there was just a lot going home, like going on at home at, the, at like that period of time. So mm-hmm. I love staying in school with my friends. And I love like um, after dance that we'll go down to like the drink store and then we'll just like bond with the drink store uncle. It's just those little, little things that was like very, very like forgettable but yet like very memorable. I don't really know how to I get what you mean. I get yeah. what you mean. The day I was just scrolling through like my camera roll, right? Oh, <clears throat> I love I, doing that. And I, and I found so many like forgotten memories. And yes, it was so, it was, I love it. It was so, so sweet. sweet. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> like, um, we after training we would all just kind of be dead, right? But mm. we would hang around for a bit, and then do a lot of stupid shit, lah. 
Same. So there was Same. Th- there's a video that I have, right? Of all of us just rolling across the court. <laughs> oh my god, that's so unhygienic. <laughs> okay, but we were gross already. We were so sweaty okay, and we were fine, so disgusting. Fine. Okay, but to be fair, the, the court is damn gross. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> the court rain. is so many. And then we have to sweep the water. Oh, oh yeah. my god, no, that's so gross. That's <clears throat> yeah. not a vibe. And in the mornings. Oh, you like, have trainings in the morning. Oh, uh, no, no, no. But we would. We used to meet in, at the netball courts in the morning. Oh, wow. Like, early. That's how close you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so we, cute. We used to come a little bit earlier to, like, chit-chat every morning. Aww. Then after that, uh, only when the song started playing. Oh, the national anthem. No, no, not the national anthem. You know, the... the, the how do I... Is uh, it, like, a bell? It's something like that. Like, a there would be bell. like a There would... There would be like a song to tell us that oh it's gonna start soon oh. so you better hurry the fuck up and go. Okay, okay. So when that song starts playing, then we all walk into the courtyard together and go to our classes. That's sweet. Yeah, that's very cute. But right, like I feel like all these um, memories are very happy for us. But then to outside to the to the other girls who are outside, right? I don't know if you had the same experience, but they felt like we were very exclusive, and I understand mm. why. Same. Okay, I would I would get it. Mm. But I can't have enough empathy to know how it as in like like <laughs> as in no 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 no. no. Okay, I'm not okay. trying to say it in a mean way, yeah. but I, I genuinely don't know like how it feels because I love all my friends so much and mm. like I mean I hope that my friends love me back. So I'm too used to that feeling. Mm. So I don't know how it feels to be like not in that like group of friends or not saying that I was like popular it's just that I had a group of friends that I could depend on mm. and I'm very glad that they stuck by me and I could stick by them yeah so I wouldn't know how it feels to be on the other side yeah yeah I understand and I can I can see how they would feel like we are very exclusive mm. because they are outcasted ish <clears throat> okay I think mm. outcasted is the wrong word more I of just like we, were, we just really like being together yeah <laughs> That's true, we that's just true. really like being together so every recess. No matter what class you were from, we would just sit at the same table. Oh, that's, together. that's nice. Yeah, and we were super... Clingy. Yeah, la, clingy we were very clingy. La, clingy is the clingy. word. I can tell without even knowing you guys. <laughs> I can tell that you're very clingy. Very. So and I, w- I w- also wish that like my CCA was as bonded as that. Like, I mean, we were very close, but we did not like go for recess together. Mm. We did not like have to sit at the same table. Like... We were just not close to that extent. So in that sense, like, I also envy you guys. Yeah. yeah. And I think um, because of that, there was like, if I'm not wrong, like, if I remember correctly, mm. there was some like unhappiness between I'm not you guys sure. and... Like we just heard people say that we were very exclusive and they mm. didn't like that. Like. Mm, That's okay. what I heard. But at the same time, I would say that individually when we went to talk to other people, everyone was okay with us. Everyone was fine. They like y'all as individuals lah. So when you're not as a, together, yeah, yeah maybe not as a group lah, we were a bit obnoxious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> correct, correct. Sorry, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, how did you feel going into poly, like <clears throat> knowing that you were gonna be in a mixed school environment? Okay, to be fair, right, I had friends who were guys already when I was in secondary school. Okay, great. Because so, I had none. <laughs> 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 I had like one friend from... Church. That was it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, to me, that like that whole guy aspect wasn't very scary to me. Plus, not like there were a lot of guys in my class anyway. That's very there true. There were like what? There were five guys in my class only. And then like a couple of them like dropped three out. Three guys. Oh, wow. That is very little. Three correct, right? Ay, ay, la. In our whole cohort, right? Okay, our cohort only got two classes. Our co- our oh, yeah. Because they're small, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Less than two hands. The amount of guys in your yeah. in your cohort. Wow. Yeah. Okay, like actually same la. Each class only had about like four to five guys. Like for mass comm la. Mm. Yeah. So and we pr- I mean at least in my experience, we pretty much treated them like they were one of us anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, like girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Okay, okay. Then how about like in CCA, like uh, CCA were you in body, yeah. yeah you went I had like One CCA that kind of like Dwindled Yeah oh. I had one CCA too And like um, There were definitely More guys there Than The amount of guys In like The 
my batch of like mass comm students mm-hmm. but it was easy getting along with them it's just that at the start I was very intimidated oh like, why? I was very daunted by like just men in general <laughs> Okay, I think I, mean, I would get it because you, you know what you, I mean. You're in a girls' band around. Yeah, so long. for eleven years, and I had like one, like one guy friend in my whole eleven years. I had one friend, so that was really, really scary. And I don't know the thought of them like just makes me feel like they're very unfriendly and unpro- unapproachable. Mm-hmm. But the more I got used to it, it became less of a culture shock and more of like a adapting mm-hmm. situation. Actually, yeah. then, do you think that you would have preferred to be in a mixed school? No. Not at all. Not even for like maybe. I feel like I would years. have gotten bullied. Huh? <laughs> I feel like if I was in a mixed school, right, I would be like the target bully. Like the target to be bullied huh. in secondary school. That's quite sad, eh? Why As do you in, think that? I don't know, because I'm very easy to bully. Like people always bully me like for fun, like banter bully. But I feel like in a in a mixed school and like you know those pre puberty like guys, yeah, pu- they will make use of that and like just say mean shit to me. I guess I feel like I'm always the target lah, mm-hmm. and I let myself be the target because like I, I'm like I'm a people pleaser, so it's tough lah. But I'm trying to not be a people pleaser anymore. But also when I was in secondary school, I was even more of a people pleaser. So whatever they want to do to me, then I just let them do law. <laughs> because it makes them happy, right? Even though it makes me feel like shit. But That's I was so just, sad. I know, I know. Hope we are, I know. I hope we are working on that. <laughs> I am, I am. But like, it would, it, it was the reality of my life. Mm, so okay. I feel like I will get bullied. I so I, I do not want to be in a mixed school. I was very happy to be in a girls' school. Mm. Yeah. How about you? As in my interactions with secondary school boys. No, do you, do you <laughs> think you would have thrived in a mixed school? I think with my ex- Because you had experience with guys, maybe you would have. I think... I, I, I don't think it would have made a difference to me, I feel. I feel like oh. it would have been the, the same. Except that there would be Except no maybe, kissing on the cheek. La. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, maybe we wouldn't be that close. That close. Mm. But I, I feel like with um, a mixed school, like the first thought that comes into my head, right, is just more... Drama. Oh, really? Because they're boys, what? And but girls create drama. Like girls create girls drama, create but drama. but imagine if the drama that first the the thing that first came to mind was like yeah, it's either boys fighting over girls, girls fighting over boys. Uh, I'm not sure. Those relationship drama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was thinking about a whole other drama because like my mind is just like in that girl school innocence vibe. No, okay. you know why? Because I feel like that was one of the the things that um the things that happened, like the types of drama, even when there were go when we mixed with the boys' schools. What do you mean? So that means I had some of my friends who not like f- not fight over guys, but they would okay. be like jealousy or like yeah. With other girls from different schools. Oh wow. And then they would yeah. Mm. That's a bit extreme la. I think now when you look I, back on it, it's like... It feels... So forgettable. Yeah. Right? So insignificant. I feel like... I don't, I don't know. Did I even have any? But like, okay. I think the only thing I was more aware of was... Um, stains. Period stains. Oh my god. No more like shouting across the classroom like to ask I still did pet. though. Huh? Oh my god, I did, we didn't. We whispered. Ah, really? Yeah, we whispered. Okay, yeah. Like, anybody got pet? Or, like, anybody got... I don't know. Like, can you help me check if I stay in? But then, like... Actually, I asked school, my guy friend to help me check if I stay in. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't do that. I was not very close to the guys in my class. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So, we had three <clears throat> we had three guy friends mm. in common. That were the only friends I had, like, for a while. Yeah. Okay. I think that were the only guy friends I had for a while. That people that I were actually, like have conversation with. Mm, okay. Yeah. Other than that, it was very on and off or like very casual friends. Mm. Also because I was very intimidated by the amount of people that were in school. Okay, yeah, yeah. I understand that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was a real like culture shock. Like I'm not really sure if it's culture shock, but to me it was just a shock. La. Yeah. <laughs> because I was not used to like the school being so big mm. and there being so many people and even when you come into school, it's 
it's insane the amount of people like coming out of Dover and Marty yeah. just to go to school together yeah. and then like everybody would run because we were all late <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> I was part of that crowd okay that late crowd one thing I would I will say about the difference in um a girl's school and a mixed school is that mm. I was probably more aware of my appearance. Mm. Oh my god, yes. Yes, because in school, like, I didn't care how messy my hair was or like how like ugly my pinafore was because it was so crumpled and creased. Like, oh, how many people still on my face? Yeah, I didn't really <laughs> care at all. But not saying that there were guys to impress in yeah. my class or whatever, yeah. but it was just I was very self-conscious. Mm. Then I started to like, like think about what I would wear yeah. and what I would like how I would behave and how I would act in front of like just people in general. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I think the appearance thing. Because to me, it wasn't just... Like, I didn't feel like... um, I mean, okay, in secondary school, whatever school you're in, you're just wearing a uniform. My body is a bit different. That's true, right? yeah. Like, you walk around There are and no uniforms. They are not... The people who are judging you are not people that you know. Oh my god, it's people that you don't know. Correct. That, yes, that you know that, that stare you get whenever you walk in the corridor. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They would quickly glance at you from head to toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As they walk past you. And I'm like, especially when I'm alone, it's mm. so intimidating. And Correct. especially like the, the guys. Like, I don't know, but when I was year one, there were so many guys that like did that just like glance. The, the, yeah, the, 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 glance. the, 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 if I were to do it through a camera now, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yes, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. And yeah. it was so scary because. I'm like, I don't even know you, but you're judging me already. And mm. like, what what are you thinking in your head? Like, I want to know what you're <laughs> thinking. But I will never know. Do yeah. you have any experiences? Um, okay, this one was new to me. Mm. Um, being picked up in school. I have been catcalled before, but never like been approached to get picked mm. up. Yeah. I was really ugly in poly, I feel. <laughs> no, do what the Yes, fuck? I was really ugly in poly. Like, I didn't really glow up until, like, maybe internship. I feel la. But I didn't get picked no, up. I didn't. Only got, like, randomly kept You were not, you were not ugly in poly. Thank you. I was you. scared <laughs> by you, eh, actually, when we first met. Because my RBF is very bad. No, it wasn't because of your RBF. It was because of something else, but it was not your RBF. Oh, I'm not sure whether it's a compliment, but thank, it is a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's okay, I also thought you were pretty in Polly. You were one of my prettiest friends. When I look back at my old photos, I was like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> no, you were so pretty. You were such a pretty friend of mine. Uh, all my friends are pretty la, but like, you were a very pretty friend. <laughs> say you're welcome. I mean, say thank you. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> say thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, there really weren't a lot of culture shocks because I already was... That's good. <clears throat> yeah, it was just a minor adjustment. Oh, you know what gave me culture shock? What? Gen Ed. Because Gen Ed was where like we okay, met more I guys. Understand. You know what I mean? Gen no, Ed was where you know more why? guys came and they were all from engineering. Correct! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Not to flame any like engineering guys out there, right? But it was just a very different. The vibe is very different from like mass yeah. comp to engineering. It's yeah. very different. Even the even the even the guys I knew in secondary school, maybe it was just because they were more playful. Or like they're mm. just the, the guys. Engineering I guys were so serious and they were so like they didn't want to talk to us and they didn't really like participate in like group work and things like that. It was quite annoying. La. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty annoyed sometimes. But that one was a culture shock because I was not used to seeing like so many guys in my class and so many quiet guys in my class. Mm, yeah, it okay. was pretty weird. La. So I mean I stuck to my my own group of friends, obviously, but you can't choose who's in your genetic class and who's not. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a I bit just, of a problem. I just thought some of the guys were creeps. Oh yeah, yeah. They hit on some of my friends, lah. Yeah, like they would say yeah, they hit on my friends. They would say things that you don't normally say. Yeah, they're just <laughs> in not a sensitive. social setting. They are not sensitive boys. Like they're not empathetic or sensitive boys at all. Yeah, like I remember the first okay, okay. Turns out this guy is very nice, lah, but you know it's not the when you that's not the best first impression mm. to give when it was during the first lesson and and we were supposed to go up 
in front of the whole class and introduce ourselves. Okay. So one by one we will walk. Okay. And then my friends were sitting with me. Okay. And uh, I went up. I introduced myself. And then when I came back, my friend was like, do you know this guy? He just... I can't remember exactly what it was. Okay. But it was something along the lines of like something something chill chill boo something 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 then I was like what the fuck that, that, the line that he said was that's kind of creepy dude as a first impression thing yeah me. as a first impression I've never seen you before I don't even know your name oh god that's really weird yeah but most guys do that now like yeah like guys like outside of school I mean yeah obviously I hate <laughs> it also but like um, it, it doesn't take away from the fact that it's creepy yeah. The, the more that guys do it, the more they think that it's okay, but it's not okay. Okay, anyway, it's like breach of topic. But the there point was, is, the point is, it gave me culture shock because I was never like treated like that in secondary school. <laughs> like there was never a reason for like any girl to come up and be like, hey, show me. Like, <laughs> like, no, obviously not. So like, that definitely didn't sit easy with me. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but honestly, overall, I would not have changed I think about my secondary school life. Same. Same. I love I loved my secondary school life. <clears throat> Maybe except my grades lah. <laughs> okay, yeah, same. Except my grades lah. Because if I did better, I wouldn't have retained. But actually yeah, I, I wouldn't don't have mind met you. I don't mind yeah yeah. I don't mind retaining because everything worked out very well in the mm. end. And in the end, like, I was so much more confident about myself and my grades mm. because I had that extra year to like put in effort and get my shit together. Mm. So I actually don't really regret anything lah. Okay. I never have any regrets in general, but yeah, I had fun in secondary school. Okay, la. yeah. I think whether you're in a mixed school or whether you're in a girl's school, just enjoy the experience because yeah. you never get to go back to that stage yes, again. Yes, make the best of it. Make the best of it. Oh my gosh. I really miss secondary school. Every time I'm with my friends, like my Senex friends, we always reminisce and we always say how much we miss secondary school because... It's just such a carefree and innocent time in your life mm, that you will never You don't have to worry about. Yeah. Anything about your grades. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. Like, all the trivial fights that we had, like, everything was so... Stupid. Yeah, everything was so <laughs> dumb, but like, they were one of the biggest... That was one of the biggest problems we had. Like, just fighting with your friends and like, having those trivial arguments. Yeah. It was fun while it lasted. I mean, I think, like, with culture shocks, right, and... Moving from a girl's school to a mixed school. Mm. Just take your time to to find your footing a little bit. Mm. Adjust. Um, yes. Some some people are scary. But then also... <laughs> Many people are scary. Yeah, but then also know that once you get to know them, they can be very friendly people. Mm. So don't... The guys try not to Try not to yeah. put your walls up before yes. you get to know somebody. Mm. Yeah. I think that's the... the Easiest way to get over the culture shock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just whether you're going to JC or Poly, mm. like they're all mixed school, mm. so be a little bit more accepting of people. I would say, mm. yeah, yeah, and have fun. Oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> remember to have fun. Oh I my god. Yeah. Okay. Poly, JC, you are moving into the next phase of your life. Yeah, it's very important to have fun and just enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make best of your opportunity. Make good decisions. And on that's that note. That's true. Make good decisions. <laughs> yes. On that note, we'll, we'll see, see you in two, two weeks. weeks. <laughs> Bye. Bye.